there, Craft Warehouse followers. So today we're gonna make this super cute cheese board. So this is a paint pouring effect that just uses a blow dryer. It's really easy. This was my very first attempt at this technique. I had never done it before. So if I can do it, you can do it. I promise I'm not like a crazy pro. And at the end here, we've just added a little vinyl um, from Decorate Your Life. And that went on after the paint was dry. They're really easy. We have all kinds of quotes and sayings. So it doesn't have to be this one, but you can kind of play and see what you got. One of the things that I recommend on this um, that I did not do on my first run, you're gonna wanna tape your feet and tape your edges so that after it dries, you can peel that off and have a nice clean edge. This one's a little crazy, but that's okay. And I'm not gonna paint mine because I'm not gonna make you wait while I do that. So first, first things first, I'm gonna pop this rope out of here because it's just gonna get in the way and get caught up in the paint, but I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna cut it because I wanna put it back on later because I think it's kinda cute. So I have my two background colors kind of in quantity. If you're at home, make sure you cover your table. This one's really messy. So we're gonna cover each side, one half of the cheese board with the background color. Now, if you want your white to be nice and bright on this wood, you're gonna wanna put a layer of gesso down first and let it dry. We're just kinda gonna go for it because I like the wood showing through a little bit. It doesn't tend to be a problem with, uh, with darker colors, but with lighter colors, sometimes you need that little coat. Now we're gonna come down here and do the same thing with our black. And we just sort of go for it. There's no rhyme or reason to how this works. Whoops. Okay, so here's where it's handy to have a little palette knife. I had one. Where'd it go? There we go. Because I can't lift this up and move it around to spread my paint, or it'll go more into my other side, so I'm just gonna spread it with my little knife here. You can use a plastic butter knife, but we have these like great little packs of palette knives that we really like. These are easy to use with paint, and they the paint kind of picks off when it's dry. So I'm just going to convince that around. I'm not going to worry very much about my edges right now. I can go back and pick those up later, but I'm going to be moving the paint around and blowing all kinds of colors across this. So even if I color, cover an edge with black or white, it's probably not going to stay that way. So now I've got my colors pre-mixed. You can do this with a paper cup. Just pinch it so you get a little spout. Oh, I don't think I want pink on this. So I'm just gonna swizzle my colors across this line. There's no rhyme or reason to how it needs to be done. Just gonna move the colors around. And then I'm gonna come back with just a little bit of my background color. And I'm gonna go right up against that seam so you can see I'm going over the top of some of those colors a little bit and that's what you want and I'm gonna do the same thing with my background I'm just gonna put a little extra paint there alrighty so here's where it gets tricky we've got our blow dryer it really helps to have one of these ends on your blow dryer to kind of pinch it down. And it's just on low. And we're just gonna move the paint around. And that's all there is to it, guys. That last little push from the top is what gives you that mountain shape. I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna come around and grab some edges. So you can see there's paint on the table here. And you can just pick it up and bring it around your edges. So that's why I wait to finish them so I can get that color in there. I'm gonna let this dry overnight. Sometimes it takes a little longer and then I'm going to put my vinyl on it. Now, if you have trouble with your paint cracking while it dries, 
that means that you've got your mix too thick. So you want to use a little more pouring medium so that it runs off a little bit more and it doesn't dry so thick. So that's going to be our mountain breadboard. And that's all there is to it. Happy crafting. Mm -hmm.